Um, good afternoon. Okay. Uh, my name is Patrick Pranger, as told, from uh, Heerlen, South Limburg. Um, this is my partner. First of all, we're going to see a little movie. Hello, my name is Jan Hutting. I'm a chairman of the foundation Earn and Learn Respect, a colleague of Patrick. Uh, we showed you the film because it's the ultimate form of respect. It's a tribute to, from the Celtic supporters to um, the people from Spain because they're playing against Barcelona as there was a, um, a bombing in Madrid at that time, that uh, early in the day. So that was a very nice form of respect. That's why we started show you this film. Patrick is going to take it over now to tell you something about our foundation. Now, our foundation is uh, since 2004 at a big neighborhood sports project we started and uh, the political uh, responsible people asked me, uh, Patrick, can you form a message of the project? At the project there were about uh, 100 children between 3 and 21 years who came uh, to all kinds of sports activities every workday and there were lots of uh, uh, Dutch children but also children from uh, uh, migrants, uh, especially Moroccan uh, youngsters. Uh, the project was in, a, in a, the north of the city, was uh, uh, um, four uh, neighborhoods with lower social economic uh, uh, values, uh, employment, and that so. I, um, I put this together, learn, earn, respect. It's a, it's a message with three words. This is uh, one of the most important words. And before we go on, I like to, um, what comes first to your mind, when I uh, say respect, sure. Too abstract. Um, que ça veut dire respect? I say respect, you say? Integration. Yeah. Fraternity. Solidarity. Uh, communication. Appreci appreciation. I feel good. Tolerance. Positive attitude towards others. This is going good. Together. Treating the other like I want to be treated. Very good. Cool. Tolerance again. Yeah. Skills. We. Oui. Um, I can go on, but um, the nice thing about respect is that it's a very personal thing. It's a feeling. It's a, a wish. It's something we all want. But in the world out there, there's a lot lack of respect between people. Uh, back to the, the foundation, the message. Not only respect is important, and as we saw, that was a, a, a very individual meaning that we all give to respect. But I'm personally fascinated by learning. Um, and when I, um, I had a photo of a Moroccan youngster and a... a uh, um, a Dutch youngster who greet them in a special way every time they come at the project. Um, I had a picture of that and thereby I, I, uh, I uh, learned. I put my hand on the L and there stands earn. In the street culture, it is uh, on the streets, it works as follows. Street soccer players but also rap musicians, beatboxers, all kinds of 
the, the transports and musicians, they have to perform to earn their respect. The street soccer player with the best trick earns the highest respect on the street. In our project, we saw that. The youngsters came in and we saw that. And what's uh, very interesting in that street culture is that the youngsters with the best trick or the best lyric or the best breakdance move, they don't uh, protect their moves or their skills. They share it with all the others who don't know the trick or the move or the lyrics. So it's about learning together. Mostly informal learning, but it's learning. So um, I, um, I did a whole evening investigation on the internet because I, did, I couldn't believe that nobody ever uh, uh, put a hand on the L. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't, so we used the message uh, uh, in our project um, and, and we, uh, we made a t-shirt and what was um, another thing that was very remarkable uh, at the moment we presented our campaign as a message of our project uh, the youngsters put on the shirt they liked the shirt it was their message so every activities that we do, we don't have uh, come over uh, um, uh, we, uh, youngsters put on a shirt and they're an instantly a family, a group. And then you go to work by football, by uh, playing sport and having fun. So that's, uh, that's a strong message. So... We heard a lot of things about respect. I use, uh, there were a few words about it. But what do we think about respect? We think that uh, we think, uh, respect is all about um, uh, accepting differences. Yes, and uh, building bridges to, uh, between those differences. And we do that by uh, playing together. We do that by uh, uh, working together, by learning from each other and to work with another, yeah? So binding, playing, bridging, that's the message that we think that means respect. If we do those things all the time together, then the respect will be mutual. The project we did in Heerlen, that was our first project from 2004 till 2008. It was also founded by uh, Urban Projects, European uh, Commission, and in the evaluation, this came out as uh, key factors, as success factors of the project. And again, we had over a period of um, more than three years, every workday, 100 to 125 children in all kinds of uh, um, ages, in all kinds of activities uh, to remark not only football, but also dancing, uh, spinning, uh, you name it, what the youngsters want, we, we put on the ag agenda. Now, as I mentioned, it, the strong message, the strength of attractive sports and also music activities go to their culture. The positive street culture, at the other side you have the negative street culture, who has the same characteristics, but only in a negative way. Um, this, the, the basketball trainer who said, uh, it, it's, it's about we, it's about a normality that we go by that way, but in, the, in, the, in real life you see a necessity to stimulate those things and sport not only in a social way but only in a health way because uh, uh, overweight is becoming uh, world number one's big problem, uh, epidemic number one uh, they call it now. Now, this and coaches and role models. We put youngsters from the project itself with 15, 16, 17 years and as they uh, were uh, one or two years within the project, they, we gave them some responsibility in guiding other groups. And uh, with the shirt and with your behavior and with your learning and earning respect, this was uh, the key factor of the whole project. We believe uh, that the all kinds of activities, what you do, the coach, 
uh, as a role model is the most important factor. That's why we have the next respect and coaching. What, else, uh, what role can respect have in our coaching? And to know that, we have to know first what we think coaching is all about. Coaching is about experience. Every day that you're on the pitch, that you coach a team, or you coach a group of youngsters, you learn something. Not only when you, the way they react, but also the way you present yourself. It's very important. You're the guide, you're the trainer, you're the teacher, you're the one who motivates them, you're the one who inspires them. It's your presentation that decides how good and how uh, uh, willing they are to participate on your activity. That's a key role. And how is a coach going to do that? It's about enthusiasm. You have to be enthusiastic. You have to show the passion. If you have the passion to learn them something, they are willing to accept that. They're willing to learn that. If they have fun in the activities that they do, especially for the youngsters, if they have fun in doing things, they are more open to uh, learn more than just the game you show them. Uh, so that's a very important uh, uh, issue. Coaching is also the communication. That's, in fact, the, the final line. If you, if you can communicate with your uh, players, your participants, if you can show them how to do things right, if you can tell them how to do it right, and if you uh, can uh, bind them, then you can bring the message. So that's an important thing. How do we do it? We have a film to show you how we do our project. So that was just a, a small impression of a project that we did in, uh, in, in Holland. What you uh, also see on the film is that the players, who the adults who are uh, learning ch the, the children how to play football, they are prof professional futsal players. They play for the Dutch national team and uh, they are very open to participate in our projects. So they learn from the best and uh, the role models that they are is something that is strong for our, uh, our foundation. And they accept it and they are willing to participate in that. So that's a strong message that we can give them. In our country, uh, a big, uh, big thing in uh, in the big cities uh, you saw uh, in, at the at the beginning of this century big cities uh, all kinds of youth who go playing on the streets on corners of streets on on stepways on uh, little areas so the football it wasn't all about winning it's about tricks skills um, in uh, Holland uh, there was a uh, panna soccer you know what a panna is um, and and the, the, uh, it, it, they developed a game, one against one, pure uh, uh, about skills of uh, handling the ball. And the ultimate goal was playing your opponent between the legs, holding the ball, that's a pan, and then your opponent was immediately out of the game. That was the ultimate... Um, uh, how you call it, uh, ultimate defeat. But um, the one who gave you a, a panna had uh, practiced hours and hours. It's about uh, finger uh, speed. It's then in your feet. Very, uh, very quick they handle the ball. But the, the opponent who became a panna and uh, got defeated and in matches... Uh, a lot of people uh, are around the cage and it's about yelling and, and uh, 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 giving the panna a, a, a high, uh, high respect. So the, the, the one who has defeat has to handle the defeat. And that's learning to handle defeat. That's earning your win by practicing training and, and, and sharing it with others. But the best wins, so the... The, the one who, who, defeat, who was defeated uh, has to um, uh, gives, gives it to himself as I got to train more in a very positive way. 
Um, it, it developed street soccer. We now have two against two. Uh, it's, a, it's a futsal indoor soccer, four against four. So the, the football is developing in all kinds of um, parts. As you have the, the, the high 11 against 11, huh? the world. Uh, and, and there you have all kinds of different games. And what also, uh, the fact is that a lot of those street soccer players in Holland are, are uh, due to internet, YouTube films, etc., are uh, becoming very famous. Uh, we have uh, a great number of uh, famous street soccer players, and they are also the role models. Uh, they have uh, a lot of street soccer players have their own tricks. The tricks they, they, they give them names, and the, uh, a lot of, of those kids knows uh, the names of all those tricks. So when one of the players comes to give a, a clinic, a workshop, or whatever, and they learn the trick from that player, well, the, the, the children find it fantastic. And also, like because of the players come from the street, they know what uh, the, the, the the people who are in, in the suburbs uh, they know what it's like to live there. They know what it's like to adjust to them, to address to them, to learn them different tricks because. They live in the same neighborhood. They have the same problems as those children. So they're a fantastic role model. Our motto as a coach, um, be yourself, do yourself. I'm, uh, beside the foundation, I'm a 30-year trainer of football clubs with youth and the uh, same as, as Jan. And in my work, I worked 30 years with youngsters and now I'm at a regional education center to get unemployed youth back to school. But every function, every man who has to guide someone and who has to train, to coach someone else, has to know himself. Else you can't, you can't guide or train or coach someone else. And be authentic, passionate, inspirational, all kinds of stuff that you, that you do within your coaching. You gotta stand for something. We believe in this, learn, earn, respect. That's something we stand for. Be a team player. Uh, in a world where individualism is, is very high, be a team player. And lifelong learning is about, I think, developing, asking, listening, training, but also failing. Don't be afraid to fail, but also teach youngsters not to be afraid to fail and learn. I think we have to be much more aware of our function as a role model. Not only trainers, but everyone in our society. And I, I like the discussion that uh, uh, earlier about the professional football players who get highly paid and uh, most of them till now uh, not are giving much back in society. Let's, let's call it like that. I think also that could be more. The person, you are yourself the instrument. And as you do that, uh, don't forget, the same as the street soccer players, that you gotta, when you, especially when you work with youngsters, you gotta earn your respect. There's another thing that we, you have, you have a position as a coach where you can, uh, you give them something about values in the training that you do. To give an example, uh, like Patrick said, we are a trainer of, uh, of uh, futsal clubs. They play in the almost highest division in Holland. And uh, we have a, str a problem with players who always are discussing with referees. That's a big problem. Okay. And uh, uh, every, 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 uh, every failure that is made is always reflected to a referee. And uh, because they do that, they are not focusing on the game. So what we do in the training is that uh, as a coach, I'm a referee too, and in every game that I do during the training, I make mistakes, as all referees can make mistakes. Bad mistakes, very bad, bad mistakes. mistakes. And the players are yelling. I oh, know, so you can't yell, you have to shut up, you have to play. Go and play. Don't discuss with your referee, play. By doing that, every training, every time that it happens, and explaining to them why you do that, and why you have to respect a referee, because he will give you back the, the respect by judging normally. They don't do it anymore. So it works. It has proven its value, and for us, it works. But you have to do it 
Every time, every time. You can't stop it. You can't say there is a moment that I have to stop it. You have to do it all the time. And that sound that goes around with more values. Learning think, never stops. Life. Football is a, uh, um, has a possibility to learn people values that they can use in their private and personal life. And that's something that you, as a coach, have to, have to do. You have to, be, uh, to know to do that, and you have to take that position to do that. And that's what, for us, respect is all about also. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.